I've never ever marketed anything in my life. Well, I can't say that I market me. <laughs> hey, what's up, GQ? D Rod here, Dennis Rodman, and these are my essentials. It's probably one of my favorite things in the world besides my kids. <laughs> and maybe a female species. I think everyone in the world knows I smoke cigars. <laughs> can tell by my voice. These are my favorite cigars. Money Cristos, you know, white label. They're almost gone. You know, tonight they'll be gone. But uh, God, man, I've been smoking cigars ever since 94. I can't seem to put it down. It's like a lifesaver sometimes to me because it keeps me calm, humble, healthy, wealthy, and wise. As you can see, I'm gonna smoke one right now. <laughs> because, you know, I haven't had one all day. Matter of fact, you can go to North Korea and get them because he gave me seven boxes one day. And I brought them back. They were very delicious, very moist, and uh, very pure. So go to North Korea, get your cigars. It's like a baby rattle. You know, if you if you start crying when you're like one, two years, I mean, one or two, three months, you need that rattle to keep you calm, keep you sane. So this is my rattle to me, my Monte Cristo cigars. This song here, Black. Hmm. Who don't know that song, Black, by this guy and this, and this band, Pro Jam? Who don't like this band on the planet Earth? Maybe the devil, I don't know. <laughs> well, he's not on planet Earth, but he, he always walks. Pro Jam, got, I got hooked to these guys in 1991, and um, it was amazing. I had a bit of an issue in 1993. You know, I want to uh, commit that whole, that thing called suicide. It's amazing that, look back at this, like, wow. This brings back a lot of, and this is like in the top two. <laughs> the top two right here. This is funny. And I'll turn my word to black. Tattoo everything. My word to black. See that I am all I cannot be, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, it's so, it's so true. You hear these lyrics? I mean, you hear these lyrics right here? It's so true, and it's so like, uh, Wow, it's more than chill bumps. It's more like, damn, it's like heavenly felt. It's like, it's like you just float on cloud 55 or 91 or 110. They saved my life, man. I tried to commit suicide. <clears throat> and for some other reason, the voice of love came in my, my life at that particular moment that night. And it was Pearl Jam. And I thank Pearl Jam for doing that for me. Not the sole reason, but it was the main reason. So I don't have piercings right here on the table, but you can see in my face here, nose ring, lip ring, this ring. I used to have it here and always down here. But um, matter of fact, I'm probably getting them this week. I remember when I first got my first piercing in my nose, it was like almost like a life changing experience because who would imagine a, uh, a guy coming from the projects in, I don't know, 1981, 92, 82, would have piercings, you know, in the NBA. I think I'm the first guy to ever have piercings in the NBA. They was telling me back then I was dressing like Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, Robert Page, I'm, all these guys back then, because if you look at their styles, and my style back then, we like the same. We look the same. We had the bell bottoms, the hip huggers, the tight shirts. Whatever people said about me back then, it was always a good thing. It was never a negative thing because I never uh, disrespected anyone's for dressing. My gay community loved me because I, you know, I love my gay parts. I love my gay family. I'm just so happy the fact that I still have some type of reputation that people actually like me today. I'm still doing it. I'm still I'm making products and stuff like that around the world. And, uh, you know, I hope it uh, lasts mm, decades to come. This is just a few shirts I made up, uh, <clears throat> me and my my friends, my partners. This is pretty cool. I think you guys will like this one. So, <clears throat> like I said, RotmanBrand.com, guys. Check it out. You'll see everything. So here's another right here. This is pretty cool, too. What do you guys think? My God. Wow, look how young that kid looks. <laughs> That's an antique in itself. The barber head. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but this is cool, man. Just imagine, 93, know what that means? Chicago, 91, the Lakers, 73. 
That's why I did it that way. So if you look at the hair, different, right? So that's just one, just a sample. And you can get this at robinbrand.com. So check it out. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This is like one of the, probably the top three lifesavers in my life. This exercise band. <laughs> it almost killed me the other day because I got popped in the eye with this damn thing. But uh, I've been doing this right here for, oh man, let's see. 20 years. This comes in handy because sometimes you don't want to go to the gym at all. I mean, literally, you don't want to go there. And uh, I just got into these things right here. A friend of mine said, Dennis, you should try these bands. They're just like waste, but they're resistance. And I just got hooked real quick. I mean, real quick. And I'm like, wow, I can do this all day long. Take this sometimes when I'm like down and out sometimes and then go outside and just start working out and just, you know, make, it makes me feel good and get a good pump and, uh, and actually you feel good afterwards. I'm trying not to comment on the NBA today, you know. NBA is made for the 22nd century. Um, a lot of NBA players, they used to play back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. They think it's very soft, it's very weak. To me, I don't care. My son's gonna be in the NBA next year, so, you know, who, who am I to judge? Some days when you have a rough day, you have to you know, cover up some things that you don't want people to see. So get something like this and try to make up something that I, I screwed up the night before, partying too hard, or maybe just living a life of dream, a luxury. When I was a kid, my sister, they, they dressed me up in makeup, dressed women, women's clothes and stuff like this. So in the 90s, I, I just brought it all back, you know, but uh, it was my preference. It made me happy, it made me feel good, it made me feel free. This is like, a a savior to a lot of people around the world. I don't know, men, women, actors, entertainers, <clears throat> athletes, you know, you name it. This foundation it saves a lot of people's lives. <laughs> and guess what? Thank God I found this guy years ago. Thank you, Foundation. What we have here, I think everyone in Owens County knows, it's called Black Flies, man, out of Owens County, California. I've been wearing Black Flies for a long time. <clears throat> and finally, they made me a, a pair of shades with my face on it. These are my signature Dennis Rodman eyewear. It's called Dennis Rodman, the bull. The reason why they're made so big because of my face. My face is kind of long and stuff like that. I made these glasses for tall guys, with big people, so they, you know, have room to uh, breathe. Most of the glasses you, you see, they're pretty much tight over your ears, but these right here are very comfortable. And you can actually see in them. Oh yeah, I have designed these about two and a half years ago, and they finally came in about a year ago, and uh, people are always trying to like, can I wear those? Obviously, they're gonna steal them. But so it's okay, guys. Yeah, go ahead. You see the logo, Dennis Rodman. You see black flies right there. It's all good, guys. It's called Man the F Up. Use your own imagination. I love it, man, because you know, it's like an energy booster, right? But it's more like an enhancement for your testosterone. No side effects, no, you know, eye problems, no liver problems, no heart problems, lung problems. It's actually it's good for you mentally and physically. I need it because I'm 60 years old. But uh, I'm happy that this guy brought me aboard because I'm happy to be a, a part of this, just the group, Man D Alpha. So I hope you guys go out and buy this, man. These braces, right? I just started wearing braces, man, over many, many years. But, uh, you know, as time go on, they seem to, to wear and tear because I had like 10 on this arm, 10 on this arm, from different parts of, of the country. And when I was doing a reality show a couple of days ago, they all, they all just disintegrated off my wrist. And I'm like, oh my God, I gotta start over again, right? So I was pretty pissed about that, but I liked the most because most of these things are, <clears throat> have, a, have a little symbol as far as like where I've been, where I came from, but um, I can get them back. I mean. Life goes on, I'ma go on, but these things here, man, they have sentimental values, like a lot of people in the world do. They say gold braces, silver braces, platinum braces, keep you sane, keep you humble, keep you calm and normal. I can't say I will die for them. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I think a lot of people that play sports, you know, you see a lot of guys, you see them in a the locker room. That's the first thing they do when they come out the shower, steam room, sauna. 
they, uh, they don't even get the lotion, they get the moisturizer to, to soak in their skin, especially when you're black. Your skin gets so damn dry and stuff like that. So moisturizer, it works very well for the black skin. My kids always say, why do you use these things? Why do you use the moisturizer? Why do you do this? Why do you do Well, I mean, you know, sometimes when you get old, your skin get a little dry, so you have to use this moisturizer, man. Very important to, I mean, keep your skin on point. Thank you guys for checking me out on my 10 essentials that I presented to you today. Hope you guys had a blast. Either way, it's time to go party. Enjoy your life, guys. Check you later.